Good morning. Um, so it's been a while. Um, I've been, well, it's been a couple of reasons why um, I've not been recording. Um, first is that I've, work has just been crazy. Um, lots going on, lots of changes going on. And it kind of takes your energy. Um, and uh, second being that I've kind of got stuck on some things in Snippet Pixie. Um, and I've been working on them uh, sort of here and there uh, on my laptop. Um, so uh, not on my desktop here. Um, and when you're completely stuck on something, you don't want to be recording it because you're just going backwards and forwards and going nowhere. Um, but um, I have got some progress on um, a couple of things um, and then I've kind of just I noticed a, a little irritation with it that I'm just going to quickly fix today so I'll give you a quick quick catch up on what I have fixed up um, and um, and then we'll just dive into a very quick hope I hope <laughs> a very quick little bit of um, coding just to fix up a little irritation I've got um, with uh, the current state of Snippet Pixie next. So um, let's go into GoLand and have a quick look at what's changed. I'm going to have to try and remember. Um, right, yeah. So um, the major change since my last coding session um, after, you know, prior to doing the site stuff is that we now have a um, internal paste uh, package as such. Um, and in there, we now have a very simple paste command uh, function rather, um, which is simply going to press the keys control V um, and then let go, obviously. Um, and that's to enable when you're using Snippet Pixie, um, the, when you're using it in search and paste mode, uh, where you get a little window, um, and then uh, you pick a uh, snippet, and then when it goes away, uh, it pastes in the background into your app, which is the way that I use Snippet Pixie the most these days, um, as auto expanding, whereas you just type. Um, it isn't particularly reliable. And is the reason why I'm kind of stuck um, when I'm working on my laptop stuff, because I can't quite get that working in this new version. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, so it's basically uh, this new bit of code um, has to know whether it's uh, Wayland or not. That's running. Uh, and you'll see why in a second. Um, and then uh, sets uh, sets flag for that, and then I have a very simple control v um, c function um, here, which just checks to make sure that GTK is initialized and up and running, um, and then it does a control l, well the left control, it presses that, um, and then it goes on, waits for three hundred microseconds. I think, if that's right, on you sleep, um, which is like virtually nothing, um, just to make sure that that key has been seen and because it gives the thread a little bit of a rest. And then we have um, the V key being set as a press and release. So that's the actual paste done. And then, of course, straight after we just release the control key again to make sure that things are working. Um, and to do the actual key stuff to find out what the key code is, um, because we have this kind of synthetic thing here, which is like the GTK is kind of uh, effectively an enum um, for what key on the keyboard it thinks you've just pressed based on basically a scan code. Um, we then uh, have to then go find out what that actually means for the Windows Server, whether that's um, X11 uh, or Wayland. 
But there's a little bit of a weirdness going on here. Um, so after we've done the um, get the key map uh, for the current display, um, and then we've passed in the key value and stuffed the return um, for getting the entries into uh, key codes. Um, we've you know we've grabbed what key code we think it is the first one anyway because there could be multiple. Um, and free it up to make sure um, we don't uh, leak any mummy memory. Um, it seems that in Wayland, <clears throat> because I think because um, this uh, um, this is a daemon running via the terminal, it's a little bit confused, um, and I'm not I'm not dead certain on this reasoning, um, but it. In X, Xorg, they've shifted <clears throat> the key codes uh, by eight. And it's a decimal way, it's don't know why, so I presume that's like, you know, what, four bits. Um, um, I don't know why, um, but Wayland doesn't. So we then have to like take off um, a decimal way from the number that comes back uh, for it to work. And I was kind of stuck on that for a while. Uh, when I was testing in Wayland, uh, which is something that you saw um, way, way, way ago, although it was failing for other reasons, um, yeah, had to fix that up. Um, and so this is now called in a different manner as well. Compared to previously, we have a little function for paste in the snippet, um, which just grabs the uh, snippet and makes sure we get it, and then does a little wait if we've asked for it and then does the paste. Um, and that little weight is generally um, required for the fact that um, we need to close the window and then the daemon gets a chance to go, all right, okay, the window should be closed now, let's paste. Um, and that is generally called um, way up. Why is that not resolving? Ah, okay. Yeah, so it's called from Yeah, it is actually a unique thing there. Yeah, I forgot about that. We've got the paste in the D bus, um, and then in the app, we call it. But anyway, again, doesn't really matter. Uh, so that's the most major change. We're no longer using the XDo tool. Um, as a dependency, so it's all internal. All we have is libraries now been as a dependency. It's a GDK, which is already a dependency. It's all we need in there. Um, with some ATSPI, which usually comes along for the ride with GDK, um, and I'll be needing anyway, probably for the auto expander. Um, so that's that. Uh, so um, the bug I'd noticed. So um, and I want to fix. So we'll get a snippet pixie up and run in here. And we'll just run the build here. And I'll do it in search and paste mode. So we get a, um, a window with no icons for doing add and seeing the settings and we have the, the shortcuts that you can have here. Um, and of course I can just pick something um, and then because I've, I'm going to be pasting into terminal, I'm going to hold down the shift key and just hit return on that. And it does the paste, which is fine. But the bug that I've found, well, irritation, 
is that I can't close this window particularly easily. So I can't say, oh, um, actually, no, I, hang on a minute. I don't want to do this. I don't want to paste. So I can't hit if I'm, I'm hitting escape now, which would be the most natural thing um, for this borderless window um, to say, no, forget it. I don't want to do it. Um, even when I'm in here, can't do it. Um, on here, on my system, I can just close this window. I've got a shortcut key for that, and it's done. However, if I go, let's see, let's go grab. Let's quickly spin up a, a Wayland based. Um, thing. Uh, open to. So this is going to be a, um, a virtual machine effectively. Running Ubuntu 22.04. Um, and I want to just make sure this is in Wayland. You can't see that, but yeah, it says it's going to be Wayland. That's so I can just make sure that the paste is working the wheels again. Um, I did have to do a few bits of fiddling as you saw. Um, so let's get in here. Okay. Right, let's check it's up to date. It is good. So if I bring up the daemon, oh, well, hold on, let's just make sure it's clean. It's built. Uh, so if I bring up the daemon, um, and then I go to another tab, Bring up the GUI. In search and paste mode. So you can see in, um, in GNOME, there's no border at all. Um, whereas on my uh, i3, I have an extra little border added so that um, I can see the edge. Um, let's just test this. So if I let's go down here, um, and I hit hit Shift and Return. Fingers crossed it works. It does. That's great. So that's in Wayland. Um, but if I want to get out of this, I hit you know Escape or my key that I usually use, which I can't there, and I can't control K, uh, Q. I can't do any of the normal things. Um, I might be able to do Alt F4, I suppose. Yes, OK. Um, but it's all a little bit inconvenient. What I want to do is just this hit Escape. Um, so that's the goal uh, to set that up. Hopefully, that's easy enough. So uh, let's close these off. I'm going to go into the GUI stuff now. <clears throat> uh, this will be a front end thing. So let's see. Um, we are going to be in the list snippet screen. And we've got an on key up here. Um, so potentially I can do that there. Um, what it does at the moment is it does uh, an add and settings. Uh, 
and then we've got the search. Let's just double check that's working as it should. I didn't even, I forgot I even could do. Is it control N? Ha, huh. I forgot I could even do that. Right now here I can hit escape and I'll go back. But when I hit escape again, I can't. Let's see, control S, does that work still? Is it control S or alt S? What did I have? Control, control, alt S, okay. Control, alt S to quickly get into settings, okay. And escape works, okay. So whatever I'm doing for escape there is what I need to do in here, which I can't, it's not working. Um, so I'll just quit the app there. Um, well, I don't know. Let's have a quick look. Edit. Let's think about that. Handle cancel. Okay, on cancel. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot I had this. Okay, on key up. So, um, on the base component for all my screens, I already have a built in uh, dispatch um, of a cancel message if you hit escape key. And if you use it, you use it. If you don't, you don't. And at the moment, on the, um, the list screen, I'm not using it. Now, I'll only want to do it when I'm in search and paste mode. So, here, well, I haven't got any quit. Hmm, we've got the paste and quit, but that is a go function. So let's do the handle cancel. I like to do on. Hmm, my naming's changed there. Although maybe not. I suppose that does make sense. Handle cancel. Um don't really care about the contents. Um and now I need to do a quit. Um can I do that. Is there oh, wrong place in Wales runtime? Is there a quit? There is. Quits the application. Okay, cool. I could have just looked at the docs, but um so I've got to remember how to it's so long ago since I did this stuff. Um I wonder if this will just, yeah. There we go, perfect. I'll move that up. 
and I will put it there. And I'll bring that down actually. Into my order. So that's. This is all kind of library stuff that comes in that's not mine. This is almost mine. It's generated by Wales, but it's from my functions. And then we've got my stores and my components. So I like to do things in order of. Uh, what responsibility I have for them. Okay, um, and then we need to call it. So on cancel handle cancel. Take off that because we don't care about that. Okay, and. I wasn't using Wales Dev, but that's fine. Uh, we will just do a quick make here then. Ha. Huh. Yeah, it won't recognize the difference. I haven't put in the stuff there. Uh, so we'll do a make clean. And a make. I need to fix the make file for that. I'm not picking up all the JavaScript and uh, Svelte changes for the, uh, the make there. I need to do that. Right, so then we'll run in search and paste mode and in theory if I hit escape it works yay and it didn't try and do a paste uh, so that's cool uh, oh, job done I did do it in time <laughs> I've got to finish up by nine so uh, we're good so that's the quick little fix there for the list screen uh, are there any others that I need to do it on? No, not really. Oh. No, I'm not done. The reason being, I don't want that to work when you're in Snippet Pixie on its own. So if I run Snippet Pixie in the standard mode, where we have the ability to add and all this kind of stuff, I don't really want to do what I'm going to do now and hit escape and it quits. Don't want that. Um, you can imagine if you're getting a bit happy with the escape key, you'd be like, what's going on? Whereas in um, search and paste mode, hitting escape and saying, no, I'm done, is a different thing. So I do need to put in a little bit of a guard there. Um, so I've got, if you look up the top here, we have a, um, we have a select mode, yes or no. And only if it's in select mode do you want to do it. So if select mode, that's all we need to do. Oops, <laughs> too much go recently. <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. Make clean, make. Run it again, hit escape, nothing happens. Quit, run it in search and paste mode, hit escape, it's gone. Run search and paste mode and make sure it still works when I hit something. Yep. Cool. Good stuff. We are done. Right. Let's quickly uh, commit that. Need to capitalize them. Oh, 
Oh, it goes. Cool. Right. Well, that's all I want to do. Um, and now I've got to go start work. So um, thanks for watching. Um, and until next time, you take care. Bye.